Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and I want to continue with my podcast on HVAC system basics. This week I'm going to cover the refrigeration cycle. The refrigeration cycle uses the fact that when a gas is compressed, it heats up, and when it expands, it cools down. Several components are needed for the refrigeration process to work. We'll start with the evaporator. The evaporator is a heat exchange device, meaning that it transfers heat from one medium to another. So our evaporator is fin tube, so let's draw those in. Okay, in the refrigeration cycle, liquid refrigerant travels through the evaporator. So these green lines will represent the refrigerant piping. The fins of the evaporator absorb heat from the passing air stream. So these red arrows represent air. This transfer of heat from the air to the refrigerant lowers the temperature of the air so that it can be delivered to the occupied space for cooling. It also causes the refrigerant to evaporate. You have, say, 40 degree liquid refrigerant going into your evaporator, and after the air passes through and the heat transfer happens, it comes out as a 50 degree vapor. So this is your evaporator. So let's move this over to the side and draw the next component. When the refrigerant vapor leaves the evaporator, it goes to the compressor. The compressor compresses the refrigerant vapor. This raises the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant vapor. So this is our compressor. We'll use the green lines to show the refrigerant in and out again. So in this case, we had 50 degree vapor coming in, and what we have coming out would be about 195 degree high pressure vapor. From here, the 195 degree high pressure vapor goes to the condenser. Let's scoot over a little and draw our condenser. The condenser is a heat exchange unit as well. Let's draw in our green refrigerant lines. So coming into the condenser, you have 195 degree high pressure refrigerant vapor. Air passes through the fins of the condenser and cools the 195 degree vapor down, which causes it to condense back into a liquid. The refrigerant leaves the condenser as a 110 degree liquid refrigerant, and the air that passes through the condenser warms up. So that's the condenser. And also, let's write high pressure over here. So the liquid refrigerant that leaves the condenser is still under high pressure. So its pressure must be reduced before it enters the evaporator again. To reduce the pressure, the refrigerant passes through an expansion device. So let's move over here and look at the expansion device. Okay, so let's just draw a little expansion device and let's draw our, our refrigerant lines in and out. The expansion device reduces the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant back to where it needs to be to enter the evaporator again. So it's coming in at, say, 110 degrees as a high-pressure liquid. Goes through the device and comes out at 40 degrees at a lower pressure and a liquid. Okay, so let's zoom out and look at our whole system. You have the evaporator, the compressor, the condenser, and the expansion device. Now let's connect our refrigerant lines. So if you put this all together, it's the refrigeration cycle. So now if you look at the HVAC system in your house, you probably have an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. The indoor unit has the evaporator and expansion device and a fan to blow the air through the evaporator and into the ductwork of your house. 
and the outdoor unit has a condenser and compressor plus a fan to pull the air through the condenser and reject the warm air into the outside. So if I draw a line here, that kind of shows what is on the outside of the house and what's on the inside of your house. So now the air that's blowing through your evaporator is actually what's ducted into your house and provides you cooling. And the air that's going through the condenser is what's coming off your outdoor unit as hot air into the atmosphere. So commercial HVAC systems work on the same principle. Let's pull up the system drawing that I had from last week. And then let's bring back our refrigeration cycle drawing as well. And we'll put it down here in the corner. Now if you look at this section called AC unit, that's pretty much this bottom half here. It's the compressor and the condenser. And then up here where I've got the cooling coil, that's pretty much the top half of this drawing. The evaporator is your cooling coil, and then you'd have an expansion valve on the outside of the unit somewhere. So that's the refrigeration cycle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.